He would tell me, man, my, I got to work on my motherfucking freezes. I'm getting out of here in like six months and shit. I got to get back to work. So I go like, so what What can I do to help you? What can I do and he to goes, help you? Let me know when people are gathered. And I can try my shit out on them. You know what I'm saying? So I go, well, we'll start in the cafeteria first. So he would come in, look at me, and i go, and everybody would be online getting their food, mm -hmm. and there'd be people sitting eating, <laughs> and he would kick the door down and go, freeze, motherfuckers, and white people <laughs> would duck and shit. <laughs> and he would come up to me. I told you, I got to work on my motherfucking freezes and shit. <laughs> that is so I would wait on Saturdays when the black dudes would play dominoes in the laundry room, uh -huh. and they'd be listening to fucking, who's Whitney Houston's husband? Yeah, Bobby, Bobby Brown. Bobby Brown, don't be cruel. Yeah. Like, I was in prison when that album came out. And the brothers would be dancing, and they'll be cruel. And I would run over to Etchy and go, Etchy, I got like 20 brothers gathered. He goes, where, where, where the fuck are they? I go, they're in the laundry room. He would march down there to the back door, and I'd go in there in the front and be hanging out with the brothers, and all of a sudden the door would kick open. And he'd go, freeze! And all the black dudes would duck and go, you black motherfucker, you almost gave us a heart attack. And Etchy would put his arm around me, and he'd go, man, if you could scare niggas, you could scare anybody. <laughs>